Hi guys, welcome back for another episode of Death Stranding. Push those like and subscribe buttons if you're enjoying the series. And now let's get into this. Alright, so let's take this 8 package delivery. This is going all the way from Capital North City to Port North City as you can see. That's a transfusion bag containing blood drawn from you. While equipped, it'll gradually replenish yours. Now, blood bags are one of the most important things in this game. They act as much as health as of uh, as ammo, right? So your blood is actually ah. Uh... Sam, this is our first attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. I had to work fast with what we had, so they're basically modified hand grenades. At least. That's how they're meant to function. They've never actually been tested in the field. Who knows? You might be the first person to kill a BT. And wouldn't that be something? But, even if they do work, don't forget that they're fueled by your blood. Use too much and you'll give yourself anemia. So this is the point where the game provides both blood bags and hematic grenades. Those two combine for a very lethal combination against BTs, so I'm gonna make a lot of them. I already have two, it seems, in my private locker. I'm gonna take two more, so that gives me four hematic grenade packs, actually. Each pack contains five grenades, and I'm gonna make two more blood bags for a total of four, which also are going to provide ammunition for my hematic grenades. It's kind of a combination that's a bit uh, difficult to wrap your head around at first, but you're gonna see how it works. Alright, so we are carrying quite a lot of stuff right now. Order assigned. Which is not gonna make this easy, but... Let's get going. And we do have one of those deliveries I forgot to make. Sam, up for performing an experiment with Matic Brothers? We definitely are gonna do that. Because if we come across any mu any not mules, any BTs, I wanted to say, we are not gonna go around them anymore we are gonna be going on the offensive for sure mules i'm still gonna avoid because remember killing humans in this game creates void outs these huge craters that uh, annihilate life sam looks like you've got some more orders to take care of remember once you get to port not city you'll be crossing the lake so you should make any pending deliveries before then. Take a look at your map and figure out the most efficient way to get to all the places you need to go. Yeah, that's just the uh, game's way of telling me after you reach Port Not City, that's it. You're not gonna be going back here anymore, so take care of any deliveries you want to do up to that point. Sam, having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. But as capable as you are, you're also on the bridges now. An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields. All of whom are ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. All you have to do is ask. Got it? Good. Alright, so let's get a bit closer to a destination now. Before going to Port City, I do have one delivery that I forgot to make. That's what I was saying earlier. You have to go over there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I um, almost stumbles there. So we're gonna make a pit stop there before going to all the way to Port City over there. Alright, so we are coming up on our first destination here. Our first pit stop, rather, I should call it. And I didn't encounter a single threat in my path because this is what happens actually in this game very often, more than not. You, when you do a route over and over again, you know exactly where to go, what ropes to use, what ladders to use. 
when to how to avoid BTs and mules, and it becomes increasingly easier. We are gonna have to face some BTs probably next up, but I don't care because now we do have hematic grenades. So BTs now, from now on, are not gonna be a major annoyance as in the past. Delivering cargo. Well, I'll be. We just about given up on seeing this again. Let's not uh, judge a book by its cover, though, huh? Let me take a closer look. Oh, that's a relief. Some wear and tear, but nothing too serious. I can't tell you how grateful I am. There are few bona fide treasures left in this world. And you just saved one of them. Thank you. Good work. New All right, and with that out of the way, let me do some maintenance work and let's get going again. Alright, so now let's head to our next destination, which is going to be, well actually we have to go all the way there, but we might as well make a pit stop on the uh, distribution center on the way. In any case, let's go towards the right side, which is going to be full of BTs at some point. But now we're equipped to deal with them, so I do not worry one bit. Alright, so now we're coming up on mules territory very fast, so before I head in, always a good thing to do is replenish your energy, because you will not have time to do that while you're being chased by guys. <sighs> and another reason I have to make a pit stop is because I need to rest. You'll see that grey part of the blue bar, that means you cannot recover that part of the bar until you rest. So now we run. <laughs> Because mules are gonna start chasing us. And there is actually one mule over there, one that we cannot avoid. So, let's equip the strand. That one over there, who's right ahead of us, we will have to face him. Let's keep him in view, because he's gonna be gunning for us. Of course, avoid and strangle. That's the usual tactic. Let's keep going though, because somebody is firing spears at me. Now, could hide. Oh man, that spear was not good. <laughs> because it cut off my root. gonna try and change the directions from time to time oh man come on Sam <laughs> we are carrying way too much did they lose us I think they lost us yeah so we do not need to worry about them anymore let's unequip the strand And I think we are coming up on BT territory now. Unless the rain's gone away, because the rain is going away sometimes. Yeah, doesn't look to be the case though, as you see. Oh Jesus, they scanned me again. Okay, then I guess let's keep going. Although they usually do not follow me inside the rain. I wonder if that's gonna be the case now. Surprisingly. Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, we are well outside mule territory. I don't know what that ping was about. That was some seriously weird pinging there. <laughs> Alright, now though, let's not go too high. Because if I go to high ground over there, I will have a tough time going back down. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so now, hey, let's replenish the stamina because we will need that in order to hold our breath just in case. Alright, now we are gonna be killing some BTs. Let's equip the uh, grenades. Okay, there's your first BT that's very close, so let's get this guy. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> that was a mistake. That's what I wanted to do. Do not keep pushing the button. If you keep pushing the button, the attack button, that is. Sam, we're seeing major fluctuations in the local pyro desert. Wait. You just took out a BT, didn't you? Fight work, Sam. Fight work. Oh, that BT is not done yet. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we can avoid this guy, I think. Let's keep going this way, maybe. Always a good idea to keep checking the map. Okay, wait. Where is this guy now? He's too far away, I don't care. Oh wait, why is BT going crazy though? BB I should say. Okay, wait. We are running straight into one guy. Let's get let's take him out. Sometimes BTs are in groups, like these two. Those are going to be tougher to take out, so you have to watch out. Oh man, these guys do not seem to give up easily. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take this guy out. Okay, hold the breath. <laughs> okay, and I think we're fine. Oh no. I think somebody has spotted us, that's why I'm holding my breath now. Okay, now let's go close to the river because I need to replenish my canteen. Is my BB becoming autotoxemic? I think he's fine. Alright, let's keep walking on the water. Okay, that's a good sign. That means we are done with BTs in this area. Let's just get out of the rain very quickly now because it keeps degrading my object, my uh, my stuff. A good idea is to keep using your repair sprays while you're going. So this, for example. You can point it towards the back and spray everything. That's a good tactic. All right, now let's make a quick pit stop there. Can you see that uh, gray part of the blue bar, how far, how big it has gotten? We need to go to a private room to uh, recover that bit. So we're definitely going to be doing that. Well, there is a ladder there. But I'd much rather go over the bridge. It's safer. Sam, it's Hartman. Your friend and fellow doom. Sufferer. <laughs> um, our affliction, such as it is, began with the beach, or rather, our discovery of it. Once the question of life after death was answered only by religion and philosophy, when we learned of the beach's existence, death became something more tangible. 
knowable. The living soon walked the shores of the afterlife, while dead things, beached things, began to find their way back. And then came dooms, and with it a host of theories advanced by physicians and psychologists, desperate to explain the world's newest mystery. The symptoms were duly categorized and stratified into levels. But repatriates like you are a singularly rare breed, worthy of a classification all your own. The specialists must have been climbing over one another to get a look at you. <laughs> I wonder what they found. All right, so we get a little dialogue there from Hartman, <laughs> who is a very, very interesting character. You're gonna find out about him midway through the game. Now let's go rest in the uh, private room for a bit, and I'll be back. All right, and I'm all done. I did some uh, resting, some manufacturing, various stuff we're gonna need. And let's get going on our longest journey to date, which is gonna be all the way over there. Now, we are going to have to pass through this area, which is very rocky, and it does have VTs. So it's not gonna be a walk in the park. All right, so now we're coming up slowly on that rocky, rocky path I was talking about. Probably the rain is gonna start soon, if I remember correctly. So we are here. There we go. The carrot crystals on the ground, the, those things we pick up, the golden ones, are also a good indication that there's probably gonna be rain soon, because these things appear only during rain time. Alright, so the rain has started, that means soon we're gonna encounter some BTs. There it goes. My BB reacts. So we should stop running probably. Let's take it a bit slower now. Alright, let's uh, try and take out one or two of them. Probably this guy. I'm not gonna bother with a guy on the right. Let's just keep going. Oh, wait. Man, my controller died there. <laughs> Sorry. I swear this Xbox controller keeps eating batteries. Like crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Oh, okay. Now let's take it a bit slow because there is one right ahead. And we will not be able to avoid him, it seems. Okay, where is he? Oh, there's actually two of them. Okay, let's try throwing this. Sort of in the middle. I still want it to hit, so... Well, are they done? I think they're done. All right, let's keep going. All right, now BB blinks a bit more uh, hastily, so... All right, that took care of him, because you can see, sometimes one grenade is not enough. But if BB stops blinking uh, very fast and starts going slow like now, that's a good indication you got him in one uh, with one grenade, so that's fine. All right, now he's blinking again, though. 
I don't think I have to worry about that guy. Let's just go by him. I'm gonna hold my breath maybe a bit. I'm not gonna waste a grenade though on him. Okay, wait, there's one ahead. Oh, so many of them. Jeez. Okay, let's try and take the central one, see if we can hit all three. We actually did, but you can see BB is still blinking, right? So we didn't get all of them. Someone's still alive, the middle one is still alive. Which is surprising because we hit the middle one, but he was the fattest one. <laughs> I guess that's why he survived. Also, don't forget to pick up crystals when you uh, kill BTs. When you kill BTs, they always leave Chiral crystals behind. So this is an opportunity, as much as uh, a dangerous situation, to get some crystals. Okay, wait. Where is this guy? He's over there. That's okay. I don't care about that much. Let's go this way. Which is tougher, by the way, because of all these rocks. Okay, wait now, because this guy is much closer. We can still avoid them. Yeah, let's uh, keep avoiding these. Oh, wait. Hold the breath. Okay. I thought we were close, but not that close. We can keep going. Oh, now BB is going crazy, though. That happens sometimes because these uh, BTs are moving. Like, right, they are not static. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now this one is a dangerous one, so let's take him out. And I think we did take them out since BT is not, BB is not reacting. And I think that should be... Oh, no, there's still one up ahead, okay. Hopefully that's the last one we need to take out. Oh, there's three of them. Jesus. Somebody's still alive. This fat guy is still alive. Oh, and still. Man, this guy. Three grenades. Okay, now we're good. Oh, this is a new symbol, by the way. That's a uh, memory chip. Whenever you see those, those are for you collectors out there. Important. on the road. Be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Yep, there's always somebody that's associated with those chips. By the way, now is a good time to use a repair spray. So what you do with a repair spray is you point, you aim it, then you press X to aim it on your back, and then we start spraying things. Remember that when playing on very hard difficulty because timefall is especially, especially damaging in this kind of difficulty. Yeah, I had to waste the entirety of it. Okay, so let's check the map. Cool, now let's do some scouting ahead. It seems like this path is the safest one because you can see there's some serious elevation on this side. So let's try and go in this little chasm here. And when you're in the rain, remember to keep running because you do not want the time fall to uh, damage your cargo more than is necessary. Well, it is not necessary, obviously. <laughs> you know what I mean. There we go. Oh, 
Alright, so now I think it's easy sailing from now on. Let's just get out of the rain. Nice, and we get a nice view of the city then. Let's get to it. Right, and we're coming up on our destination. I seriously hope I do not have to cut this music out. Kojima tried to strike a deal actually with uh, the guys that made this uh, this soundtrack to not have them uh, copyright strike YouTubers like me for this. Hopefully that worked out. <laughs> I will not actually know until I upload this. Uh, if it does, I will have to uh, make this uh, sound a bit choppy, right? So we'll have to cut the music out and just let you listen to my uh, voice it's gonna sound a bit weird and I'm sorry if that is the case but you know that's just how YouTube and music artists operate so This is actually gonna be uh, the point from which we transport to the next episode. There's lots of interesting stuff about to happen here. <laughs> You're gonna see. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Huh. Yet again, he is willing to accept uh, the network. No, everybody's gonna be as willing as he is. Another strand established. Very nice. You can see we are, it seems like we are a third of uh, the game there. The game actually moves fast at the beginning and at the end and has a very slow middle point.
Same as mine. Where the hell did you get it? Yeah, I can't really say. But the little guy came with the pod, if you gotta know. And who'd you get the pod from? Igor, from Corpse Disposal. My little brother. So, what? He just gave one of these to you. Why? I was there with him, at the end. We were moving a body. Things went to shit. There's BTs everywhere. And one of them grabbed him. So he told me to take it and run. Uh, Brian. So what's your story? You lived through a catastrophe like that, only to keep on doing the same work. Okay. Been a long time coming, I suppose. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs with the expedition. With you. All right. Better be take this with you too, I reckon. Can't think of anyone who could use it more. Now well, let's see what we get now. Probably something cosmetic, but let's see. Oh, he's actually giving me some munitions, and whenever that happens in the game, well, there is a reason people give you stuff like that. <laughs> wink, wink. Sam, you've done it. Port Knot City is back on the grid. This community, a part of the UCA. Their data, a part of our shared wisdom. With enough time and enough cargo printers, they'll be able to build ships. And one day, the waters will be ours again. All because you led the way. Though what follows in your wake isn't always good. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. But we have to accept the dangers and press on, no matter what. The rest of America is waiting, Sam. Waiting for you to take the first step and connect them to the chiral network. I know you can reach them. Make us whole again. Thanks. One more C in the UCA, huh? So, you fix it across the lake and head west? Yeah. We got a boat? No, not for years now. Terrorists took out everything, bridges and floats. Only boat in town belongs to a private courier. Private courier? Don't tell me. Fragile Express? That's the one. I already spoke with their rep. I'm having them load the boat with some of the supplies you brought us. I'll bet the folks in Lake Knot will be tickled pink to see someone come into port. Been a while, I expect. Head on down to the harbor when you're ready. It's right outside the distro center. Feel free to rest up in your room before you head out. Alright, so we're gonna do exactly that. Let's rest and uh, try to get rid of some stuff that's unuseful because we are gonna get into a new chapter of the game very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. And I will catch you in the next one.